All right, we got a match versus Groovenstein. We're going second. Spotted Tohi and Hummingbird look good. Eggs in the ground nest for the round one goal. Lines up with the Tohi. Closure Builder and Food Web. Food Web works out with the Warbler. Food web. <sighs> Round two goal is birds in the wetlands. Little bittern isn't great, but it's not horrible either. if I ditch that hummingbird. What do we got in the bird feeder? We do have a fish. Could go toe lay eggs, get a wheat, play the hummingbird, lay eggs, get the food we need, play the little bittern. I usually don't keep this many birds, but I think it's kind of lining up. I'm kind of interested to see how it plays out. And there's nothing we desperately need in the tray. Tohi does line up with the house sparrow. Let's we'll see how it goes. Hopefully that fish sticks around in the bird feeder. They gained food. They didn't take the fish. All right. So let's play the Toei. So they gained a worm. What are they going to play? Their first action was to gain a worm. They're going to play a oyster catcher, fish crow. So it looks like we're going to have the battle of the Grasslands food engines here. Okay. wonder if that makes the house sparrow super important right now. I think I'm just going to stick to the plan here. That hummingbird down. Hopefully, the fish sticks around. And I can play that little bittern. And then I'll draw cards, and then I'll probably gain that house sparrow off the bittern the canvas bag from our opponent. It's his wetland card drawing bird, so he might be giving us cards, which would be really nice. It's also his ground nest. Let's play our hummingbird. We'll be nice and cooperative with food, and hopefully he gives us cards. I'm gonna be short on a worm here, though, for the bittern. So I'll gain the fish first. Because fish is more rare, and we are showing two worms in the bird feeder. And we'll just lay eggs again, filling up our toey. So our opponent 
laid eggs and got a worm off his crow. Same birds in the tray. Continue with our plan. Take the fish. took the worm. I wonder if I shouldn't just draw the house sparrow first. Because if I play the bittern, I have the toey. Will he try to deny the house sparrow? Free card from the deck. Oh my goodness. Well... How does that change things? There is a cherry in the bird feeder. And I will... I could get the cherry in the wheat. Play the wood duck. Gain food. Or, uh, yeah, gain food. Then draw the house sparrow. So we don't... Bittern, we don't necessarily need it for its card drawing power anymore. But we do need a Wendland bird. And our strong forest engine can make good use of the house sparrow. Gotta remember we have food web as well. my turn. Gotta pay attention. Missed that it became my turn here. Alright, so he drew cards. I got so distracted by drawing wood duck here, I lost track of the fact that it was my turn. Alright. So if I lay eggs, I actually lose out on one here. I think I'm going to accept that. Choose me. Take the cherry. Give him the reroll. I'll get the weed off the toey. Then I'll play the wood duck. Gain food. Draw the house sparrow. He doesn't have Franklin's gull. He's holding that fish. Could very well be uh, Franklin's gull coming up here in round two. Cherry and a worm. on the round goal. He can have four, so he can tie me. Mockingbird. Repeat crow. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a Franklin's goal, I think. That means he's going to be burning up all his eggs. So I think I will discard the bittern. That could be the card I chuck to the wood duck, though. I could draw two good cards here.
two turns left. I need a wheat and a cherry to play the house sparrow. So I'll take the wheat. I'll draw these two. Chuck the bittern. Hopefully we don't get something good to come up for our opponent here. Long spur, they might want that. Let's see if this wood duck can come through for us. One activation left. Are they gonna draw cards or are they gonna lay eggs? Well they they can't beat us on the round goal now. Oh, what was I thinking? Yes, they, they could tie us. Okay, so that's a tie there. So let's go with... Vireo into Warbler, maybe? Star Nest. I think I like the Long Spur better, though. Get another bonus card. Pick up the Wheat. Get the Long Spur. Brant. Don't really need it. Pileated Woodpecker and Dunnick. So if he's got Franklin's Gull coming, he's going to be laying a bunch of eggs, so his nests are going to be full. Sacrifice the long spur. Get the reroll on the bird feeder. Grab a cherry. Pick up the pileated. And what are we going to discard? We still want the sparrow. I think I overpay for the oh, collar dove. That's better than the house sparrow. I wonder if he leaves that. You could just leave it. Nah, he's gonna take it. Makes sense. Roadrunner. Let's get this pileated down. <laughs> Need to get a bird in the wetlands. He's keeping a egg space open on his canvas bag for my pileated, which is smart.
Need to get this prothonotary warbler down in the wetlands. Laid eggs and gained two food. So let's gain a worm. Let's gain a wheat. So if I gain two eggs here, he gains one. feel about it. I just want to drop all these bombs. Draw off the deck. Odin's is good. Phoebe's good. Honestly, I don't think Odin just does too much for us here. You know, it is a wetlands bird. Need another worm. Two fish. Does he have a puffin or a great crested grebe? Just killed here. It's funny with those fish. I wonder if he has puffin in his hand. So let's see. Go wheat, re-roll, get the worm. Lay two. Draw. Bell's video is good, especially with food web expert. We got three turns left. We can get the Prothonotary Warbler and the Eastern Phoebe down in the wetlands. What's he got for Cubness? He's doing better than us there. So I don't mind really feeding him these eggs because he's got this Killdeer engine that he's just going to be filling up with eggs. So eventually. I mean, by crowding his nest space, we're just doing a, him a disservice, so. More eggs. But then again, he is able to burn off two eggs on food or cards. So we're feeding him all these extra eggs. That crowded nest space isn't as much of a problem for him. So that's kind of a Bummer. So he is getting some extra value out of my pileated woodpecker. Now he's got showing those two fish. He's got to be dropping a wetland bird here. Try to steal this wrong goal. Lay eggs. That's got to be puffin. Definitely not what I wanted to see. How badly do I need this Phoebe? I mean, he's gonna play. Well, it's it's gonna tie. It's gonna tie him for the wrong goal. <laughs> so 
So, let's see. So, this should be the Puffin coming. In the next two turns, at least. White-faced Ibis. So, at least it's that and not the Puffin. We don't have to worry about that bonus card. But he could still have the Puffin in hand. Two fish. So we need worms. So do we give him eggs? Food. Eggs is food and eggs is cards for him right now. So we need a worm and one other. So we'll get a wheat and one other. Off our grasslands, we'll get food and cards. Discard the Montagues. Yeah, so basically my Pileated is kind of turning his crow into a raven here with his Mockingbird. And he can also draw a bunch of cards with his kill there if he wants to. So he played a third Wetland Bird. Magpie, so he played a Ninga. I wonder if that's a Wetland Scientist. Could have Platform Builder as well. Fishery Manager. Eurasian Magpie. I think I need that. I think he needs to draw that. He can't let me have it. Because that's just going to let me score a bunch of extra points off his grasslands. Passively, yeah, he took it. Let's get the Roadrunner down. I think we run our Grasslands engine here. Gaining points and food. Four worms. So he's playing the collared dove. So he's just set up to convert. He's just going to keep hammering this fish grow, turn it all into points. Brown powers. We're tied on that. And I'm set play two white powered birds here. Come on, Roadrunner. Got it. So let's give him first pick. I wonder if he skips this. such grand designs for our house sparrow early on, but plans changed. 
So, lots of worms. Pick up these two worms here. Pick up two points, but he's getting one point. We'll make him work for his own eggs here. He's got two wheat. Two wheat and a rat. lay some more eggs. I'm gonna fill up on egg space I think before too long here. No dice there. Select myself first. Take the worm. Just handed him freebie points with his collar dove but it's kind of got an abundance of resources here. He's eventually going to fill up on something. Food, eggs. I can't really worry about what he's doing with what I'm giving him. I need to plow ahead and make use of those resources myself. He's going to edge me out on this round goal, I think, though. He just needs some other... Brown power. There's Canada Goose. This is not what I wanted to see. So, I could get the cherry here for my house sparrow keep my worms intact good take the cherry he'll be happy to see the reroll I'll pick up another wheat off my toey No worms. That's bogus. It's gonna cut into my house sparrow food here, having to overpay for these worm eating birds. But oh yeah, I can't can't let them have wheat either. There's really not much I can do about it. He's blowing all his eggs here, that's good though. We're not feeding him more. He's gonna be able to repeat the goose with the mockingbird though. So he's edged ahead on the brown powers. Or the brown powers rather. So we got two activations left. Then I can take that wheat out of the bird feeder with the hummingbird. Get another wheat with the toe I can tuck those on the sparrow. up on eggs here pretty soon. Goose is coming home for him. I mean this isn't worth it. It would be a three point play to tie him. Nine rounded down to eight divided by two is four. I'll be gaining one point and giving him minus two. But I can gain four, maybe five points here.
And that would be, I would be burning up my points up the house barrel. Four, five, six, seven, eight points here. Yeah, it's better to lay eggs and get the wheat. Come on, Roadrunner. Nope. Select myself. I'll take the wheat. Then I'll gain another wheat. He'll be able to make use of this extra food for his dove. rat under his dove. And we'll tuck four wheat here. Alright, what do we got in the tray? Oyster catcher and stilt. I don't think I have the time to draw him and play him. I could get a worm off the Phoebe. Focus on getting this food. Choose myself, get the reroll, grab a worm. I bet he grabs the other worm. Space. Actually, I'll play the Bell's Vireo. Nope, the Warbler has more nest space, and they're both cub nests. Hopefully, I get them both on the board here by the end of the round. I should. More eggs. game is going. It feels kind of even. But this goose is just turning into a monster. If he's drawing two cards a turn, he could draw four cards. But we're closing in on the end of the game here, so... I mean, he could be dropping a Benelli's. He can't drop Eastern Imperial. What's he doing on Cupness? Four, eight. He'll have eight. He'll have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Bogus. All right. Well, I need food. So I'll go first, take a rat, he doesn't get the reroll, and then the reroll is available to me next time. I've got three egg spaces open. Or if I don't just... Overpay for the Vireo here, that cost me a point on the Sparrow. Then that'll be... One, two... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... 
three. We'll have the egg space. Ah, that was a bummer. There wasn't a worm there. turns left. So I'm losing a point on an egg or I'm losing a point on the wheat. Doesn't really matter either way. So let's just work. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just thinking I was playing that my wetlands. What am I doing here? So this is actually going to cost me two eggs. What a whiff! Big time whiff. That might have cost us the game. Four. So he's gonna be full up on eggs here. He's gonna wanna burn his eggs on his fish crow for wheat or any yeah just gonna stack up on wheat why wouldn't you stack up on wheat for your goose yeah that whiffed bonus card might have cost us the game at least he's not dropping any bombs here and he's not gonna play anymore Birds with cup nest, so we're gonna win this round goal. He took a worm. Why would he take a worm? Not that it really matters, I guess. All right, well. Come on, Roadrunner. No. So I'll hopefully gain a wheat here. Then I'll gain another wheat for my sparrow. And that's just getting canceled out by his collared dove. So Collar dove, he'll dump three food on that. And I will dump three wheat on my house sparrow. And we'll see how we did. What's going on over here? Oh, he, he dropped Dunnock? For cup nest. So he was able to tie me with the Dunnick. Good play. Yeah, that bonus card whiff might have cost us. Huh? Came back on the round goals. Who did better on eggs? I did. My cards. He's going to come back on Tux. Oh my gosh, one point. Good game, Groove. Not really a whole lot to say. That Dunnick was a surprise at the end.